Hey guys, how's it going today? <clears throat> what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the map in 4 tractor. And that map is going to be for the Pioneer DDJSX. So, you're going to go to PioneerDJ.com. You click under support. Click over here on support. And as we look at all the pretty CDJs and scroll through them, we are going to go down, 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 down. Here we go. Uh, there's the bad boy right there, the DDJ SZ, but that's not what we're talking about right now. So, I'm going to go to software download. And the settings for Tractor Pro 2. So one of the things that you're going to be, there's the, um, the hardware diagram. We'll take a look at that real quick. Um, I'm not going to go through it too much. You know, it's pretty much the basics like you would expect it to be. I haven't even used it this one yet. I used the one on DJ Tech Tools actually before, and it was pretty decent. So this one, if it's done by Pioneer, should be good. Um, you know, there's some effects they have set up in the pads and stuff, so. I'm just going to go ahead and, okay, where's the download? Oh, I got to agree and download the file. I'm sure somewhere in there probably you'd say something about don't be using hack software, right? But um, let's go with the, the Mac one. And I'm going to stop this recording at this point here, and I'm going to uh, do some magic editing in iMovie or something stupid like that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're going to continue the video here. I'm going to show you how to uh, set this uh, DDJSX up. Turn it off. So you want to hold Shift and Play. Turn it on. Keep holding those down. Hopefully you can make that out in the video. See what the wheel's doing? And if you notice, we'll move it a little bit here. Look at the creaky camera. Should look like that. That jog wheel is off. And this jog wheel is on. So the button that you want to press here is your tempo range button. When that one's lit up, I'm going to try and zoom in a bit there for you. So when that button's lit up right there, that means you're in MIDI mode, so you can control tractor. All you need to do at this point is just hit the power button on the back there again, turn it off, and when you turn it back on, you'll be in MIDI mode. So in this mode here, you could still run Serato, but just some of the things like I think slip mode doesn't work, um, the light in the middle doesn't work, so that's that. So. Uh, we're going to be right back and I'm going to go into the tractor software and show you how to import that TSI and we'll get it all rolling here. Okay, we're back. So, what we're going to do, go into your preferences, crack that open, go down to the bottom, go to import. You know what, before you do that, I'm going to show you. Whatever you have set up right now, let's export it. File and load pass, I don't do anything for broadcast, but You'll be on the safe side, check them all. Hit OK. And we're going to call that mm, the S4 with F1 Tekken map. Because that's how, what I had going as a Tekken map from DJ Tech Tools. So now we're going to go to import. Here it is, the Pioneer, that's the one for the Mac. We're going to open it. And 
And always, when there's effects involved, always import twice. I don't think Tractor ever actually fixed that, but you're going to import it twice. You hear the fan starting to speed up, so that means uh, the computer's starting to do some work right now. Let's do that Mac TSI again. Open it. Audio device sends. OK. Let's check our audio device. And uh, one of the things we need to do too is plug this bad boy in. Just one second here. So we're going to select the Pioneer as the output. Let's use multi cores. We're going to go just double check, look at our controller manager. That's everything here. And it's all being in the in and out ports are for the DDJSX. So by all accounts we should be good. Every time you have multiple like multiple mappings like that in tractor, your computer will feel a little sluggish when you come in and out of the preference screens. So um I'm turning the knob here on the DDJSX. As you can see, that's all working. Uh, shift view. Okay, that doesn't. So I press the knob. It puts me in just kind of like what I would expect on my uh, S4. Hit my load. I'm the dance floor. It really works. Not sure why we weren't pumping up to the DDJSX for the audio. But you see what I mean? Every time you go into that preferences, it's going to take a moment. Set guys to do a little wiring down here. Make sure we have some sound going. And we are back. Let's try again. It's when it wants to keep resorting back to the uh, internal for some reason. Good when these things kind of happen because it gives us a chance to go through it together. So let's shut down Tractor for a second. It could be because I plugged my DDJ in after the fact, but we're going to find out. Try that again. Let's. You know, before we even do that much, let's go right into our system preferences. Go with the sound. And let's just pick the DDJ. Now let's open Tractor. I got a pretty large collection, but um, holds up relatively quick. I have the system sounds going through everything too, so. Let's 
check in here real fast and see uh, where everything's sitting at. Take it down a notch. 236 should be good. So you know what? I'm gonna do a completely different video, maybe going over all the effects and everything else, but you know what? I think once I got you guys this far, you should be able to look at the, the little manual, the little picture that comes with it on Pioneer site figure everything else out because if you're this far into using a DDJSX with tractor you should be pretty familiar with tractor anyways and MIDI controllers and such. So that's it for me. Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully once this gets all edited together it's going to look alright and uh, won't be too ghetto looking.